Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you. Nice to be back here in the bathroom this time. Uh, it's time for a shave and boy do I need it. Look at this. You know what's happened? Just, just before I turned the camera on, there was a little, you might be able to see it, a little black mark there. I think there's a black hair in amongst all this grey. Amazing. Hmm. I just stuck out. I thought, oh, that's, that's a black one. Yeah, not, not bad, eh? Not bad for 51. <laughs> Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> how are you all doing? It's good to see you. Uh, good to be back here. Yes. The last few videos were talking about the uh, Pearl Flexi adjustable razor, the, the problems I was having with that and uh, all the responses from Pearl. So very good customer service uh, from them. But let's move on to a new shave with some new products I haven't used before. Thank you again, Vincenzo De Vivo. <clears throat> I hope that's his name. <laughs> that's uh, my cousin Vinny. Uh, Vinny DeVivo in New Jersey. He's sent me some stuff before that you've probably seen. I'm going to use some of that. And then another box came last week with more shave gear in it. Unbelievable kindness and generosity. Thank you very much, uh, Vinny and Brenda. Um, let me show you what he sent. Uh, there we go. The Cube. The original Cube. PAA. And he also sent the little dock. The little resting thing. Um, here it's here, yeah, has feet on the bottom and it just has drain drainage channels, I guess. So there it is there. I've not, I've been wanting to use this for a while, so Vinny finally, finally can, no, no, Vinny, <laughs> Vinny very kindly sent that across. So thank you very much. Uh, he also sent a brush. This is the Phoenix Artisan Amber Aerolite. Uh, and here is the brush here. Big old chunky brush. It's a 24 millimeter, and uh, there's the knot. Stygian, 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 Stygian synth shaving brush. The amber aerolite. There's the box there, and I love this on the back. Actually, Vinny's filled this in. Uh, it says, "Kevy, meet your new partner, the amber aerolite." Um, Kevy, meet your new part of the Amber Aerolite. Amber Aerolite, meet Kevy. You two are going to be working very closely together on saving the world. I mean shaving the world. <laughs> no, I mean shaving your face. <laughs> Oops, I knocked the camera there. Yeah, so here's the brush here. Big old chunky handle. If you like a chunky handle, this is the brush for you. Look at that. Nice knot. Stygian knot. Stygian. I'm going to say that. I like saying that. Stygian. Stygian knot. <laughs> yeah, there's the bottom there. Uh, Phoenix shaving. Uh, amber aerolite, 24 millimeter, with some kind of weird. I don't know what that lo uh, logo is. I'm not technically minded. I couldn't put a nail in a bowl of mashed potatoes, so there you go. I've told you that before. Uh, right, let's get the cube on. Well, let me show you the razor first. Um, I've not used this in a long time. Uh, it's the Rockwell, but it's the 6C. This is the chrome version. As you know, 6S, I love. This is the chrome version. Slightly cheaper, but exactly the same razor. Comes with the base plates. Take it apart like that. I'm only going to need one base plate, the one with 5 and 6 on it. Uh, there it is there, look. R5. Turn it over. R6. The blade I'm going to be putting in that is a Permasharp. One use on that blade. So I'll take that out of the packaging. Yeah, this must be, I must have an old pack of Permasharps. And these are the new ones. Look, it's slightly, it's like etched on there now. Can you see that? So we'll put that in the razor. Like so, and I'll have it set on, let's go for five just now. Uh, so plate number five is showing R5. That's the one that I'm using. Little washer goes on and the handle screws on like that. And there we have it, ready to go. Right, let's get this uh, pre-shave on the cube and then I'll show you the soap and stuff. You know what I just done there? <clears throat> um, some people don't, some people always say it, but yeah, sometimes, yes, yeah, some people don't know what this is. When you take water and put it on, it's called, I'll just wet the face. 
<laughs> I say that as well myself, but there you go. Right, I'm going to use uh, this side of the cube, so I'll keep this side nice. Okay, just rub that in. I don't think you need a lot of this uh, cube pre-shave. Very slick, I can feel it on my fingers. And then I'll just put it back. Just rinse it, a little rinse. And I'll put it back on the, uh, on the docking station. And I'll just rub this in. Wow. Yeah, this isn't the uh, methylated version or the one with banana or the one that's Coca-Cola flavoured or the one that's uh, tastes like a, a 16 ounce steak. This is just the regular cube. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, every time I went on the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement site, there was another cube, another version of the cube. Banana flavour, peach flavour, <laughs> T-bone steak flavour, <laughs> uh, macaroni cheese flavour. <clears throat> Doug could probably do that, Doug and Fran, he could probably do that. What about that, Doug? A macaroni and cheese cube. Sounds good, doesn't it? I'd end up like taking a bite out of it and just use it that way instead of using it as a pre-shave. Right, that looks, that looks amazing. Look at that. Right, soap. Again, one from Vinny. PAA St. Martin's Land, uh, great label on this. This is a CK6 formula. There's the ingredients if you want to take a look. And uh, here's the soap. Yeah, I've used this before. This reminds me of, it has a little bit of palm olive going on, I think. Like a clean soapy scent. It has, as well as being a green color. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just nice. Right, let's, uh, Wet this brush. <clears throat> Give it a squeeze. Get rid of that water. Hopefully. Right, so the brush is quite wet. And I'll just go into the soap. So how are things with you? How are things? Did anyone email Pearl Shaving? <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a frog in my throat. Ribbit. <laughs> yeah, look at this. So we're just going right into the puck with that knot from that brush. I think that's more than enough. Look at that, really pasty. That's going to take a, a lake of water, a lake of water. Way too much soap, but there you go. Life's too short to worry about soap, about conserving soap. Unless, of course, it's uh, something that you, they no longer make. Right, let's go. I think I'm going to need some more water. <laughs> Look at that. That's amazing. Yeah, someone said uh, with this new microphone, you should do is it a AMSR videos or, you know, the ones where they just make noise. Right, I'm putting some water in here. I'm just dipping the, I just dip the whole brush in there. Yeah, these videos where it's just, uh, I think it's just like audio. It's just audio of, um, it's supposed to be like pleasing things and stuff, and I don't know. But um, right, let's, let's listen to this lather. More water. 
dip the whole nut again. This brush is insane. <laughs> How much water this is uh, taking this lather. Right, just dip it again. CK6 formula, superb. Especially with these uh, synthetic knots. Yeah, just really good. like cream cheese. Right, let's get that tidied up a little bit. Right, we'll get some heat in this blade. There we go. Right, plate number five, Rockwell 6C. Yeah, this leather's uh, is still too dry. It could probably take more more water, but I'd be here all day. <laughs> yeah, it's taking a lot of water to rinse that. But that's okay. Nice and clean. Right. I have about um. Actually, let me just fill that up. I have about four or five days of growth here. Yeah, they say the uh, the 6C, the chrome version glides better over the skin. And I have to agree it does. <laughs> it glides a bit more than the, the 6S. That's amazing. Yeah, there's not much difference in feel. Obviously the weight is a little bit different. Not by much. I hear from the brush. Yeah, I'm really having to, oh like weeper. I'm really having to uh, rinse that razor from the soap. It's, uh, <laughs> it needs more water. Probably overloaded the brush. Feels great. Right, first pass done. Yeah, one little weeper there. Not much. Right, let me rinse off, come back for the second pass. Okay, rinsed off. Right, let's go back to this brush. Put a bit more water in it. Yeah, it should be a, a thinner lather this time, so I'm just gonna paint it on. <laughs> Look at that. brush is uh, really good. As I said, a big old chunky handle.
actually, I never even th thought about the uh, the cube. I probably um, I probably didn't need that with this soap base, but there you go. It's there to be used, so use it. Use it. Right, second pass. I'm leaving this on uh, plate number five, going across the growth of the hair. Permasharp blade feels great. Yeah, if you think the uh, Rockwell Success is too expensive for you, this is the best option. Uh, down from that kind of thing, the 6C. I think it's about half the price because it's chrome. Weight balance. I think with this razor, Rockwell just got it right. Um, you know how people say about the Gillette razors from the, the 50s and 60s? Yeah, they just got it right. Some people don't like it. Have your shoes been going? Good, 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 good. Yeah, there's so much good stuff out there now. Um, soaps and brushes and razors, and it's such a good time. It's such a good time to be a wet shaver, right? So I like something from Bill and Ted there. Right, okay, I'm going to rinse and I'll come back for pass number three. Okay. Beautiful residual slickness, really nice. Right, back to this brush. Yeah, that's what this soap reminds me of. Uh, like palm olive with a little powdery undertone. That's what I get from it. It's not a dead ringer for it, and I, I don't think it's meant to be either, but it just reminds me of um, the palm olive shave stick. It's got that kind of vibe to it with uh, some powdery undertones. They were a great band, weren't they? The undertones. Do you remember them? People of a certain age will remember, <laughs> will remember the undertones. Uh, they were an Irish band actually from, Irish band from Ireland, yeah. So you get these bands from the States, American bands they're called, they're from the States, the USA. And then you get British bands, they're from, <laughs> they're from Britain. Amazing isn't it? Right, uh, third pass, against the growth, keeping us on setting five. The uh, CK6 formula. I need to remember next time not to load the brush so heavy. Look at that little thing where that black hair was. Mm. One black hair in amongst the grey.
I've had a tough life. Grey hair. <laughs> it's all the worry. It's all the worry. That's what's caused these grey hairs. The worry of what knowing to use. But what will I use in the next shave? Oh, the worry. Yeah, the worry of uh, not knowing what to use. Oh, use a board brush. Oh, I might use a badge. No, let's use a synthetic. Oh, there's another two grey hairs. Oh, I'm worrying about what I can use. Right, three passes done. Let's have a little uh, feel about. Some weepers down here, but that's okay. Well, I t <laughs> I'll tell you what. There's one tiny bit there, the slickness on that is off the scale. Really, right, let's have a quick rinse. Yeah, one tiny little bit, that's it. Just there. Right, let's uh, flip this over to number. Six. Oh, where's my little washer going? There we go, look. Plate six for the pickups. Washer on. Believe it or not, that's the, the, the most question I get, the most uh, asked question. Where can I find these uh, little plastic washers? Without a doubt, that's the most uh, question I get asked in the comments of the videos. Search on eBay for plastic washer size M5. They're very cheap. You'll probably buy 50 of them for about three bucks or three pounds. And buy 50 because you've no idea how many of these little plastic washers you'll loss down the drain, <laughs> down the plug. When you take the plug out and then you rinse the razor, take the head off. Damn, I forgot about the little plastic washer. So if you've got a good supply of them, um, yeah, they're very cheap. Another question I get asked a lot is, why do you use the plastic washer? And my answer is always, it's a very cheap way to protect your razor. Be it a cheap razor or if it's an expensive razor, it's just a cheap way to protect the uh, handle marking the head when it's screwed together. Right, quick rinse here. Wow, that is like glass. Right, let's have a face wash with this uh, CK6 formula. St. Martin's Land, look at that. Superb. Right, I'll rub this in, clean up my gear, see you for the post shave. Face wash, oh face wash. Mmm. -hmm. Wow, great shave, very soft skin, beautiful soft skin. <laughs> right, post shave, uh, matching splash, PAA, St. Martin's Land, look at the colour of this. Give it a shake, just a little splash of that. Very green. A little bit of a sting. Yeah, it smells um, similar to the soap. Not quite the same, but um, very good. Uh, and finish it off with the St. Martin's Land uh, Star Jelly Aftershave. This is good stuff. 
just a couple of pumps of that. That's probably way too much. Yeah, you can see it's kind of translucent. This smells more like the soap than the, uh, the, aftershave, the aftershave does for me. Right, that's good because the battery's flashing. So if this runs out, good stuff. Right, let me show you what we've used in this shave. Uh, we started it with, pre-shave was the cube. There we go. Uh, the razor, Rockwell 6C on plate number five, and the pickups plate number six. Inside that, second use Permasharp. Soap was St. Martin's Land. PAA, yeah the battery's running out so quick quick quick, there's the soap all cleaned out, very good. Uh, the brush, the Phoenix Shaving Amber Aerolite, excellent excellent brush. Um, post shave was St Martin's Land aftershave, finished it with St Martin's Land aftershave jelly, star jelly aftershave. The blade was a second use Permasharp, there's the box for the Aerolite. Okay, that's all for me for today. Uh, thank you very much. The battery's going to run out. I hope I can make this. If not, I'll see you in the next shave. Um, I love you all. Stay safe. And we shall talk again soon. Goodbye. See ya. Take care.